everyone. My name is Veronica and this is my 17th Floss Tube video. Today is Saturday, October 19th, 2019 and thank you for joining me. <clears throat> um, my channel, Veronica X Stitch, I, in these videos I talk about my cross stitch. Um, this is going to be a haul video mostly, so if you don't like that you can stop watching now. I'll warn you too when I get to that point. I personally like watching other people's like shopping haul. What's happening in my voice right now? <clears throat> Excuse me. But because I like to see what else is out there. I don't I don't like follow a lot of things. So I really enjoy that. But if you don't, I know some people don't. You know, I, I promise I won't be offended. Uh, but first off, some life updates. So um, my last video, I talked about my cat. Unfortunately, we did have to say goodbye to Harry. Uh, I'll put a picture of him in if I can find a cute one. <laughs> Uh, it, it, the kids were, took it pretty well, actually, and I was surprised. They're still a little sad about it, but, um, we have two other cats, so they're, they're okay. Um, and yeah, we have Hermione, who's also 16, Her, Harry was 16, and Minnie Muffin, who is 11. So they're getting up there in years, too. Um, we went to Disney as a family, had a great time. I'm a big planner. I like to plan everything. And I think I packed way too much in for my husband and family, mostly my, my husband and kids, mostly my husband. He was just so beat at the end of every day because I was trying to do everything. We, we, we went to all four parks at Disney World and one per day. And that that was a lot. And you, I was trying to do as much as I could at each park and all the all the like rides that that like were supposed to be the best rides and stuff. So planning out okay this time we're going to do this fast pass and then we're going to go sneak on this ride and then sneak on but and then certain rides you know we'd wait in line for but overall the kids had a blast um but yeah i'm, I'm a big planner and <laughs> it's probably a bit much for for my husband uh it was hot there too but it was fun i i i, had, I probably had more fun than my kids did you know because i was like oh there's a frozen ride they're like i don't care but i'm like i like frozen so i pulled them on it and they had a, they had fun too you know um, the other news kind of is that t tomorrow is my youngest seventh birthday. So today we're going to go to a trampoline park and jump all four of us. And that'll be fun. Um, tomorrow I'll probably bake him some, some cake or cupcakes or something. He really likes cats. So he wants like a cat theme. Um, we're not doing a party. We did parties for my kids last year and you know, that, that's not going to be an every year thing. <laughs> it's, it's expensive, it's, it's stressful, and I don't think they have as much fun than if we just did more fun things as a family together. So they, when they get a little bit older, I and mean, when they were like little, little, it was fun, but when they get a little bit older, we'll just let them like hang out with their friends for a bit or something, whatever, whatever they prefer, It's because it's their special day. Um, since I made a video last, which was over a month ago, um, I've only worked on one thing, and that is um, my Stargazer by Mirabilia, MD88. Um, I started this one on my birthday in March this past year, and I here's a video or picture of where it was in my last video. And I apologize, I have not, I have failed to iron this thing, but I actually had it in my Q-snap for Disney so I could travel, stitch on it while I, while I was traveling and it actually worked out pretty well. So, but that's why it's all wrinkly right now. <laughs> Here's where it is now. So as you can see, I made it to the bottom. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm getting really close to the end. So I'm at that Point. I don't know if, if any of you ever get to that point in a project where you um, get super motivated by it because you're like, I'm almost done. And, but I'm going to be sad too when I finish it because I really enjoy it. But yeah, I'm almost done with the stitching part. And then I have to do all the beads. And there are a lot of beads on her, both on her dress and then in the sky for the stars. I believe all the stars are beads. If I'm wrong, then I will be missing some stitches until I get to that point. But that's okay. So yeah, if you look at all the holes there, the places that aren't stitched that are dark blue. Those are going to be beads. Um, this is on 32 count uh, Mystic by Picture This Plus. Um, linen. Um, I really like the dark blue color. I wanted a 
a sky-like color. So I think I was a little worried that the, her dress would be too dark. It's about the same as DMC 930. And there is some DMC 930 in this. So that's the only one that's a little hard to stitch. But it's, there's not that, that much of it. It's not like, you know, the edge touches the fabric either where you wouldn't be able to see it. So um, I'm, I'm happy with my color choice. The only thing is when looking at it and looking at the picture, the picture is much, so it looks, I, I think I talked about this in one of my last videos, the picture looks much darker and it's turning out to be much lighter than I thought it was. Um, so if I ever do this again, I think I might try to darken it up. But I, I have plenty of other work projects to do, so I don't know if I'll ever do a, sec a project a second time. Um, <clears throat> that's it for my non-haul portion of the video. If you don't like haul, <laughs> feel free to leave now. Um, so we did the North Coast Tour to Stitch, which is a Ohio, all of the, or a lot of the Ohio needle workshops all get together and, and, um, and basically do a bunch of trunk shows and they do like door prizes and still going on right now, actually, but I finished it in three days, <laughs> which is a lot. Um, and I, I dragged my mom with me to most of the stores too. <laughs> Again, I like to plan and organize. So here's my shopping list or like, I think last year I was kind of like, I'd walk in and I'd be like in a daze of, I don't know what to look for. So this kind of just in case I needed something, some guidance, I printed up a list of all the different things I might look for, you know, particular designs or designers or uh, flosses or something that I won't need um, or want. <laughs> Nothing I need. <laughs> um, so anyway, just to let you know what I did, I took Friday, not last Friday, but the Friday before the 11th off um, work and my mom and I <laughs> took a day and we started in the Cleveland area. So up where these, this cluster of stores is, we didn't go to any of them that day. Uh, we drove to Columbus, Cincinnati, Pequ I'm not sure if it's Pequa or Pequa, uh, Findlay, and then Vermilion all in one day. We had all five of those stores. Um, the next day I went by myself to Cleveland. It's actually Broadview Heights, but went to the Broadview Heights shop. And then finally on Sunday, last Sunday, we went to, I, my mom and I again went to Canton, Wadsworth, and Strongsville. So, I don't know if I'm going to do this next year. I was tired, and, <laughs> and of course it was a lot of money, but that's okay. You know, you don't have to buy anything to participate other than the passport, which is $7. Um, but I, I tried to support the local shops. I bought something at every single store. So, I'll go through that with you now, in case you're curious. Lots of money. I've got a big bag here. It's not organized. I haven't even... For the most part taking it out yet because i had to work all week so i need to go through and organize this stuff but this is going to be in no particular order i'll try to tell you which shop i bought it from but i probably won't remember i might get it wrong so i will try Oops. oh wait i didn't even take things out i bought a project bag at a store and didn't take out the fabric i also bought there but this is oh this is the um the craft gallery i bought a project bag and I think, I think this is, these are done by a floss tuber. If I can figure it out before I edit, I'll put the floss tuber's name below. I don't, I don't watch your channel. I don't think I might, um, cause I subscribe to a lot, but it's really pretty. It's nice and big. This is at the craft gallery in Findlay, Ohio. Um, I bought this fabric there as well for my Persephone. Oh, she pinned it together. Um, let's see who the dyer is. This is a, a 28 count Joblin by, I actually don't know who the dyer is, oops. But I thought it was really pretty. It's got like pink and green on it. Um, so I thought Persephone is, is the, the model is stitched on um, like with a pink background kind of. So I thought this might actually be good. She's got some green on her too. So this might go pretty nicely with it. Um, Another shop. So these are from. I probably have my receipt here, so I can tell you. Uh, so just stitching in Strongsville. I bought some some water lilies for various projects. I believe this one's for Persephone, and this one's going to be for um, Renaissance Mermaid. I think it's um. Black Forest and Seagrass. 
I bought some, they have little pieces of fabric, so I, I bought a couple that I thought were cute that I might be able to use for like, I don't know, smalls. I don't do a lot of smalls, but I want to do more of them because they travel well. As I learned when trying to take my mirror with me on big trips, it's kind of like to get all these things out and I had a big thing of flosses, but I just have like two or three. It might be easier. Oh, next. <laughs> trying to remember this is a 36 count vintage homespun this isn't my style normally the neutrals um, by r and r but I did pick up some uh, kind of more like adventurous for me meaning like not mirabilias or fantasy <laughs> so I'll show you that too and I bought this fabric to, to stitch on that to try it so this was from Little Creek Needleworks in uh, Canton Ohio and they are they have a lot of like it's all like samplers and stuff so I have that, if any of the stores I have trouble finding stuff from it's that one um but they you can always get like fabrics fabric and needles and stuff um it's so at um, the what is it fabric peddler in Wadsworth I bought a mirabilia this is English roses it was pretty number number 14 MD 14 I believe uh, pretty low cost because I believe what happened is the owner of that shop um, bought the shop from somebody else and you know she's not interested in carrying these designs anymore so she had a bunch of these and a bunch of lavender and laces and they were all like not that expensive so I bought one of these they didn't have any other she didn't have any other mirrors just this one but it's, it's very pretty and I bought some lavender and laces so I bought um, Enchanted Alphabet um, what's this one Morning song. I like the ones with kids, or babies, and, and stuff. They're pretty in the big dresses too. And this one, which is Queen Anne's lace. Didn't have any of the um, Celtic seasons there, but that's okay. Those are super popular and not hard to find either. So I don't want them. Yeah. Very pretty. I've seen some of them stitched in person. A lot of floss tubers are stitching them now, too. Oh, let's see. I'm just scraping the surface. There's a lot more. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, so these were my Crafty U haul, which is in Broadview Heights. And they had a trunk show of um, uh, under the sea fabrics. And oh, that was so beautiful just seeing like a a rack with a whole bunch of, and they're all like basically cut for mirabilias. Um, so I bought two of those. Oh, I have a lot of stuff there. Wow. <laughs> so this is a. It's, it's, oh, wait, no, I was looking at the wrong tag. This is a 28 count linen called London Fog. I don't think I bought this with any particular design in mind. I just thought both of these, this one's small though, only 18 by 26, but I just thought they were pretty. And this one is a 28 count opalescent Lugana. Kind of got blues and greens. I don't know. I think I was thinking mermaid for mermaids for both of these. <laughs> Blues and greens in that one. They had so many though. It was really hard, really hard to choose. I bought some beads for some of the, both the Renaissance Mermaid and um, uh, Persephone. Not sure which which are which. I'll have to go through and reorganize later. But treasures I think are for Renaissance Mermaid because I don't think um, Persephone has any treasures. And I also bought. This is completely different and not typical of me, but I just this is part of the reason I bought that R and R fabric is I bought. I'll take this out of the bag because it comes with the 
uh, embellishments, and the embellishments cover up the design. So take it out. But they also had at Craft Gallery a trunk show for Jeanette Douglas. So I bought this because I thought it was really pretty. Potpourri of stitches. And I've always been curious about um, Jeanette Douglas designs and some of similar things, but because she has a lot of specialty stitches and seeing this stitched up, it was so beautiful. The little intricate uh, details of um, almost looks like quilted around the edges there. And the, it, it, um, the called for fabrics, a lot of different brands. So I'm really glad you could also purchase the embellishment pack, which I did. It comes with all of the um, mostly silks, but some, um, some some cottons as well and the uh, charms or a couple beads and one charm if you can tell um so that will be interesting and fun and different okay this is, i'm just making a big pile on this big bean bag i'm sitting on here in my kids playroom in the basement Opened up in my other bag. Oh, yeah. Another slightly adventurous one for me. Um, I bought these in uh, Vermilion at Claire's Stitching Post. This one is Autumn at Hawk Run Hollow. I've seen a lot of people stitching on this. Again, not totally my style, but um, I want to try to be a little, try, try a few different things too. Um, so far, my favorite is like. The fantasy or the uh, mirabilia or more realistic looking things but um i've seen this stitch and it's so pretty so um it calls for like all npi or dmc and they're like it's more beautiful on npi i'm sure what i've seen is stitched on npi but that would be pretty expensive <laughs> so i don't know um i also bought a couple more small little fabric pieces um, at Claire's Stitching Post. We're getting there. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm remembering where I bought everything from. <laughs> uh, okay. Keepsakes. Okay, so, um, interesting. Uh, you gave me a, okay, so I went to Keepsakes down in Cincinnati. Um, they gave Pam and Steph have a card, <laughs> so they, they, she was, they, neither of them were there. I think they were doing something else this weekend, but, um, Barbara gave me a card and, and <laughs> she threw these in my bag. <laughs> so it was kind of cool. Um, Pam and Steph just keep stitching. <laughs> um, and also a free pattern, which is kind of nice that they gave me, um, for going to keepsakes, which is, a um, kind of cute. I think there's more to it. And on the back, they had each of these done as well with like that house on the top. But, and so at Keepsakes, I purchased um, uh, the Halloween. So what I want to do is the, some of those little fabric pieces I bought that just cross-stitch Halloween. They have some fun ornaments on here. Mostly small things, again. Um, I like Halloween a lot. <laughs> fun. And they also had this one stitched on a model. And this is a uh, butternut road. So same designers, lavender and lace. Um, Marilyn Le Le Leave it. I can't say her last name. Emblem. Um, <laughs> they had this one stitched and it was so beautiful. Again, I like the kids. I think they're, they're neat. Um, flying the kites. This is called Catch the Wind. And that was keepsakes. Um, I think I just have one more. Wait. No, two more. <laughs> All right. Um, this was um, the first store I went to. Um, Cross my heart in Columbus, and uh, uh, water lilies for Persephone, I believe, espresso, and they had one of these embellishment pack for Fairy Moon, which I was able to purchase um, at one of our local needle workshops because they had a few left. So 
I mean, it's a, that's a pretty design, so don't have to worry about buying the beads for that. One of these days I should probably go through all of my all of my beads, because I'm sure I probably could get up a mirror or two with just leftovers. Um, okay, one more shop. <laughs> so these were from Tapestry Angel in Equal. So they had outside um, a whole bunch of like older designs and everything was only a dollar, which is pretty cool. I've actually found a couple of things that were that interested in me and I was like, well, if nothing else, it's only a dollar. If I don't stitch, it's not the end of the world. So they, they have this one, which is, that was really pretty ginger and spice and it's like a um, Nantucket cottage it's called. I thought it was really pretty, you know, for a dollar, <laughs> why not? And they also had this one for a dollar too. I've never heard of this, but Treasures from the Heart, the Hourglass Collection. I just thought that was really pretty. It's called Emma, sorry. Emma, second in the Hourglass Collection by Treasures from the Heart, it says in the back. So. Okay, a serendipitous discovery of a private collection of watercolors by great-grandfather William C. Weidman captures the grandeur of the late Victorian era. The watercolors have never before been reproduced. For nearly 100 years, They're, they've waited to be discovered. So this is, I mean, like most of the things based off of artwork, right? Based off of painting. So, hey, okay, not bad for a dollar. More beads from Tapestry Angel. Yeah, Tapestry Angel. They had dollar fabrics. This is just a little piece of Ada. Again, for the Halloween stuff, maybe. I don't know. I can't even tell. It's probably 16 count. Maybe. Uh, lastly, I bought, it was the newest at the time. Now they've released The Baker's Wife or um, Mirabilia. But this is uh, latest before that MD-165 Garden Prelude, which I fell in love with this when I first saw it. Um, I used to play the violin. And so I'm like, I have to stitch that one. I like a lot of them too. Again, it's like eye candy, but I only have so much time. So I'm trying to be a little choosy. And what I purchase. Um, I guess I'll, I'll probably have a very stitchy retirement if nothing else because I'm real super busy right now but anyway that's it for my haul. I can't believe it. Wow. <laughs> Looking at it all here is just crazy. Big pile of stuff. Let's see. <laughs> um, okay so um, yeah thank you for watching. Uh, remember to think critically about everything. Um, when you have to make decisions or when people approach you and try to get your money or try to <laughs> just be careful out there. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.